Hello and welcome to Foundation Friday, July 13th, Friday the 13th, 2018. I got a birdie chirping right behind me. What is up? He's right there on the roof of the house. Hey, birdie. He's excited about part five of my seven-part series, the seven critical transformations that every business owner must make. Today's is short, sweet, simple. It's to go from amateur to pro. And that's just what it says right there. Okay, so the amateur in learning how to market and sell and advertise effectively for their business. Hey, Jim, is someone who says, uh, you know, or they get on a, a, a consultation call with me, a free consultation, a 25K in 25.com, where I find at least $25,000 for their business in a 25-minute call, and they go, wow, those are a lot of good ideas or they see a video, or they see something, they buy something and go, wow, I think I have an idea why I bought that, and they kind of look around a little bit, and they think a little bit, and they're the ones that ask questions about things like logos, and, you know, uh, should I put my name really big on my truck? You know, uh, all that kind of nonsense, like amateur stuff. Uh, when you really want to make a critical transition and start making a big money and work a lot less and have a lot more success and therefore a lot less stress, a lot more free time, just enjoy your life a lot better, you're going to become a pro in the world of effective marketing, advertising, and sales for a small business owner, for any business owner really, but you're going to start to be a pro, which means you dive right in. You don't just dip a toe in the water. You're in the deep end. You're in the ocean. You're swimming with the sharks. You don't just uh, watch a commercial on TV. You're watching infomercials. You sit there glued for three straight hours of infomercials. Or you watch the Home Shopping Network and you flip back and forth between the three of them for about five hours. And you take notes. And then you go through all the courses you can. And you go to the library or you buy the courses or you become my client. I give you access to all the courses I got. I got a library with over about $350,000 worth of marketing, advertising, rare books, all kinds of swipe files, all kinds of successful sales letters, and videos, and all kinds of stuff that works. And you just dive right into it. You become a professional, a pro. You just become immersed in it where you, you can't, you know, ask my beautiful wife, Michelle, we can't even go out to eat at a restaurant and just enjoy the meal without me going, oh, look at what they did with the menu here. Listen to what the waiter just said. He should have said this instead. And when they just presented the specials, oh, they should have said this. And look how they made us wait up in the front. And they should have had this. Or look at the bar here. They should have had this going on at the bar. And look at that sign above the bar or the menu of drinks. Or the, and, and I can't, or even on the way, look at that billboard. Oh, it's horrible. And look at this ad over here. And don't even think of fast forwarding through commercials on TV. In fact, this year, last year for the first time since the NFL decided to make itself unwatchable by allowing its employees <laughs> to disrespect their own customers uh, during the performance of their actual product and service. Uh, so I stopped watching the games after like week two. And But the Super Bowl, uh, I did not watch the Super Bowl, but I watched all the ads. I just went to a website that said, here's all the Super Bowl ads, and I watched all the videos of the Super Bowl ads because I refuse ever again to be watching an NFL game. But I, that doesn't mean I'm missing out on the advertising. Now, now that's not really much of a professional because the ads on every Super Bowl, pretty much every one of them, just absolutely suck. But you become such a pro that you understand that. And you know why they suck and why they don't work. And you read everything you can, you watch everything you can, and you hang around as many sharp marketers as you can. So you don't just watch my videos, you hang around. You become my client or somebody else's and you join enough groups of the sharp marketers, not just networking groups where people are just meeting each other and never, no, there's no pros in there. There's nobody who really is loving marketing the way I just talked about it, where it gets to be in the core of their being and you become a professional. They're just the amateurs. Yeah, they place an ad, they sell some stuff, they do what they think is some marketing, but they're the amateurs. They're the, the curious George of the world. You know, mm, that's interesting. Ooh, let me look around a little bit. Like, the pro does a deep dive. And that's critical transition number five of seven. Oh, all these people are here. Steve, 
of Rhino Roofing is here. Love the name of the company. And Shoes by you, Danielle, is here. Great seeing you. And uh, how have you been after all these years? Great seeing you. And uh, that's it for July 13th, Foundation Friday. Next week, I'll be back on Friday with Critical Transition number six of seven. So we're close to wrapping up the series. And then I'm even going to have an extra wrap-up episode to wrap it all together. So you might already, not for you amateurs now, but for you pros, you might want to go back for the last few weeks on a Friday on YouTube or on my blog or on my uh, podcast or on Twitter or on LinkedIn or on Facebook or everywhere that I'm posting these videos all over the place. I think I got five different Facebook pages and groups and it's all over the place. But you might want to go back and watch the first four of them plus this one and then the next two and you'll be prepared for my wrap up one which will bring it all together and you play cards right it'll move you up into the stratosphere and revolutionize your life because that's what I'm all about not just making some minor changes revolutionizing your business and since you're a small business owner revolutionizing your life so I hope you'll join me then speaking of which I hope you'll join me tomorrow on success story Saturday I'll bring you a success story of an entrepreneur who went through the tough times like we all do but he kept going and now he or she is enjoying success and hopefully that's a motivational thing for all of us i love bios of successful entrepreneurs who went through the tough times the ups and downs and i always want to see what they did and i'll share one with you tomorrow on success story saturday i hope you will join me then have a great rest of your friday the 13th and i'll catch you tomorrow over and out bye bye